Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph and today we'll be talking about Drapion V from Vivid Voltage. But before that, please leave a like to this video. Hit that thumbs up. This actually helps me out with the YouTube algorithm getting this video to more viewers. And thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already and feel free to share this content. So let's get started. Drapion V is not too bad at all. It has 210 HP with two attacks. The first one is Rackdown. For one dark and two colorless energy, it will deal 70 damage. But the second attack will be the main highlight of this deck build. For one dark and three colorless energy, Hazardous Claws will deal 130 damage. Then you have to discard two energy from this Pokemon. However, your opponent's active will be paralyzed and poisoned. And I will be using a full set or four copies of Drapion V in this deck. I gotta say the attack cost is pretty high and the damage is very low, but I can understand because of the double effect of the attack. With paralysis, your opponent cannot retreat or attack, and to add to that, poison damage. However, the only downside to this build is that many decks now use lots of switch or support that has a switching effect like Malo and Lana or Bird Keeper. And also we have new special energies that can prevent the paralysis like Aromatic Energy or Wash Energy. And then there's also Big Parasol. So really there are lots of ways our opponent can get out of the paralysis. And this is probably why this card doesn't actually see much play. But if your opponent's deck either runs out or don't have enough techs to get out of the paralysis, you will KO even V maxes in just a few turns. And because Drapion V's lackluster attack would take 3 turns to KO V maxes, I did add a 1 1 line of Toxic Croak with more poison ability, which increases poison damage counters between turns by 2 more. So with Drapion V's attack of 130, plus 30 poison damage, that's 160 total damage on your turn attacking. I would like to add more Toxic Roast in this build, but the way this deck build plays, the bench space just gets really crowded, so I just settled with the 1-1 line. And since Drapion V has to discard 2 energies for its Hazardous Claws attack, we need to re-energize it for it to continue attacking. Many builds that I've seen so far use Porygon Z as their go-to for re-energizing Drapion V, and they pair it with the Recycle Energy, for example, and it might be better than this build, but I just wanted to try something new. So I will be using Colossal in this particular build to replenish two energy back onto Drapion every turn. Colossal has the ability Tar Generator, which lets you reattach a fire and one fighting energy from the discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. This is a stage two Pokemon, so that's one of the things that makes this build challenging as well because you do have to set up this Colossal, but once it's set up, it does get a little easier from there. The other thing you have to also make sure is to get two energies in the discard pile, which is why I will be using two copies of Radiant Forest Stadium so that we can search out any of the three basic energy we need, but at the same time possibly discarding a fire or fighting energy during the process. So this will be the overall mechanic and strategy of this build. I will be using Snorlax with Gormandai's ability for our early game setup. While the ability ends your turn, it allows you to draw cards until you have 7 in your hand, which is really good. So I have 2 copies of this in this deck. I also have a copy of Crobat V with its Dark Acid ability. If you play this from your hand to the bench, you can draw cards until you have 6. And lastly, a copy of the Dene GX for its Dead A Change ability. You discard your hand, after which you draw 6 new cards from the top of your deck. So these will be our consistency cards. As for the rest of the deck, I have 2 Energy Spinner, 3 Evolution Incense, 1 Ordinary Rod, 3 Quick Ball, 2 Rare Candy, especially for our Colossal line, 3 Switch, 1 Tool Scrapper in case we face off against any deck that uses Big Parasol, 1 Black Market Stadium so that our opponent can take 1 less price card if they KO Drapion V given that it has 1 Dark Energy attached to it. Next, we have 3 copies of Boss's Orders, 1 Cynthia and Caitlyn, 2 Marnies, 1 Professor's Research, and 3 Skyla. And also, 2 copies of Big Charm. This is to give 30 more HP to any of our Pokemon, and I will be using this one instead of Cape of Toughness because I want to be able to use this to protect our Colossal as well. We do have to care for Colossal because if our opponent manages to KO all of our Colossals, there's no way you'll win the game. As for energy, I will be using 1 Hiding Energy, 6 Dark, 3 Fire, and 3 Fighting Basic Energies. And that's pretty much it for the deck. The concept is pretty straightforward, 
but enough talk, let's see some gameplay. Alright. Seems like we're fighting off against a grass type Pokemon, maybe? Yes, let's go first. Yeah, so it's a grass type uh, deck. Uh, let's put our Snorlax in the active for the meantime, and we're gonna start setting up our Roly Coly Colossal line. And we have a Rare Candy. So let's uh, use our Quick Ball, get our Drapion V right away. Uh, it will take some time to get some energies on it, so we might as well start. And we're just gonna Garmandize. Alright, cool. So we got the full line of Toxic Croak. So that should help us with the poison. Oh man. But our opponent's gonna Marnie, so we're gonna lose all of that. Uh, well, we got the Colossal. We just need the rare candy, but we lost it, so. Um, hmm. What we could do is just attach an energy maybe and then um, we can just uh, Gormandize for the meantime. Uh, they don't have a lot of Pokemon yet either so it might take some time for them to set that up as well. Okay, they have a Grookey. So it's a Rillaboom Rillaboom uh, combo. <laughs> They're just gonna get some more Pokemon onto their bench. Um, so let's just attach that and use Bead to get the third one. And we're just gonna Gormandize. So in our next turn, it'll be ready to uh, start attacking. But we still have to set up this uh, Colossal line because once we attack, we only have a Fighting Energy. We need Fire in there. Um, we can use Evolution Incense to get at least um, Carcoal, maybe? Would have been better if we had uh, Rare Candy, but we'll make do with what we have, right? So they have... Our opponent has Rillaboom, but they can't... Um, they're slow going as far as uh, evolving their uh, Rillaboom as well, so... Let's just use uh, Evo Incense. We're gonna get Carcoal. That's the only other option we have, so we'll just do that. Um, we can attach this energy, or yeah, let's just attach it for now. We can we can always uh, try and find the fire energy. Um, I think I'll just get a Krogunk for now, and we'll just remove their. Uh, their stadium and let's just draw uh, three cards with Cynthia and get bead back there's our fire energy yeah I think I'm just gonna Gorman dice because we don't really need to use the um, energy spinner okay so look, looks pretty good and we can even use uh, Skyla to get ourselves uh, toxic croak Okay, wood hammer. All right, they're gonna knock out our Snorlax. Now we can start attacking with our Drapion V. So we'll just attach the fire, evolve into Colossal, use Skyla to get an Evo Incense. Um, yeah. So we can just grab that, evolve into Toxic Croak. Alrighty. So that's going to give uh, 3 poison damage and then it's going to paralyze. Um, yeah, we don't need to use that. So, Hazardous Claws for 130. Let's uh, get rid of the Fighting and Fire Energy. And that's going to paralyze and poison their Rillaboom. So, if they can't retreat with it, it's going to get knocked out um, at the end of their turn unless they evolve it. Then, <laughs> then Drapion V is done for. 
uh, if that happens, I might just have to promote uh, Toxic Croak. And we can use Energy Spinner to get a Dark Energy. And we can uh, Energize Toxic Croak. But they don't have any, so uh, we get two prize cards for that. We get a Crobat and a Boss's Order. Okay, Boss's Order is good because now we can pick and choose who we want to paralyze. Uh, so let's just go for this one because it has all the energy. And I think I'm just going to attach the fire energy on this Toxic Rope. Just in case um, they get, they find out or they, they find a way to get their um, tag team off the the active and start attacking or even uh, KO Drapey on V. So we have a backup for that. So we're just going to continue to attack. And if they have a switch, okay, they're going to use Brock's Grit for now. They're going to get all those energy and Rillaboom V back into their deck. But what they need is a switch or maybe a Bird Keeper or something to get this uh, Rowlet Executor tag team out of the active. Okay, you're going to get Marty and Brock's Grit back. voltage beat doesn't seem like they have anything so <laughs> I think uh, I think we're gonna get three prizes for this one nice all right easy easy three prize uh, yeah let's we can use ordinary rod to get Snorlax and one fighting energy back into the deck I just want to thin it out so that I can use Crobat. Alright, we can attach this on Toxic Croak. Use Crobat. Sweet. That's what I actually what I what I wanted. Uh, secondary Drapion. I'm just gonna use Kyla uh, to get. I can use Big Charm. Put more HP on our Drapion V. And then Tar Generator. These two. Okay, and then hazardous hazardous claws, and that should knock it out. No, let's just use rack down. Yep, with the poison, it should knock it up, knock it out. So we got three price cards for that. We get Marnie, Roly Coley, and a tool scrapper. All right, um, they're gonna promote. Delmice V. Um, if they have another energy, they can attack. But okay. Yep. So let's just, just in case, we can set up another Colossal. But for now, we're just gonna do Hazardous Claws. Discard these two energies and paralyze Delmice. Again. They'll need a switch or something to get it out of the active. Otherwise, that's going to be it. Yeah, so that's what makes this deck pretty straightforward. You just uh, set up Colossal as fast as you can. Uh, and then get a Drapion into the active. Energize it. Make sure you have two. Uh, energy, one fire, one fighting energy on the 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 discard, and Colossal will just continue to re-energize Drapion V. Uh, in case they knock out this Drapion V, um, we can we just put Radiant Forest. We can get Dark Energy or something like that. Use Bead. But let's just evolve into Colossal using the word candy for now. And I think I think I'll just do Marnie. Maybe we can get uh, more energy off of that. Okay. Um We have one yeah, 
well let's just attach this fighting energy that way um, all we need to do is search for dark energy on our secondary uh, drapion and we're just gonna attack to paralyze and poison our opponents uh, other Rowlet and Executor tag team and I think I think we got this game pretty much you know they don't have a lot of switch or any support that switches so um, that's what makes Drapion be good on these types of matchups but if they have a lot of switch man <laughs> you know. all right they're gonna boss order colossal so we're not too worried about that one we have another colossal uh, in our on our bench And we have a switch anyway, so we can just uh, attack after this one, after their turn. But they have to find a way to get out of the active first. Which they don't, yeah. So we win this game. Uh, easy. Easy, easy win. Uh, yeah, let's just switch uh, our Drapion. Just use Professor's Research. Attach that black, uh, dark energy. And that's it. We win the game. Good game. Alright, moving on to the next match. Yes, let's go first. Okay, well, roly coly. We got a roly coly. At least, you know, it's not the Denny. <laughs> Alright, let's just put our old Kali in the active. And we're just gonna go for that. Okay, we're gonna go against a Alcremy V V Max deck. Uh, I'm just gonna attach the fire energy. I'm just gonna use the Dene. There's uh this is a dead hand. We need something uh really good. We got a quick ball. Um I think I'm thinking uh, of getting a Snorlax uh, because we need to get uh, as much uh, cards on our hand. So we'll just play, uh, play Viridian Forest and switch into Snorlax to use Gormandize. Uh, as for our next turn, I mean we can use Kyla to get Rare Candy to evolve into Colossal right away. Um, we need we can use Viridian Forest to. Uh, discard that fire energy and get a fighting energy and by the time we get a Drapion V We will have uh, all that set up and we just need a dark energy to attach onto Drapion So let's do that let's discard get a fighting energy and We're gonna use Skyla so we can get a rare candy, evolve into Colossal, and got dark energy. Um, we, uh, let me just attach it on Snorlax and Gormandize. I just gotta thin out my my hand. It's fine. Even if so, even if they knock it out, at least we'll have that um, fighting energy on our discard pile. Um, we could use Marnie so that uh, we can we can get uh, more onto our hand. That way, we can get our Drapion V uh, in play right away. So uh, that's the next step. We really need to get that Drapion uh, set up. So their Alchemy already has two energies on it. Uh, they need to evolve that, and also they have they have Porygon Z, I guess. So let's just put the Roly Coly, other Roly Coly, onto the bench. And I think I'm just gonna Marnie. At least we can put all those uh, the bottom of our, of our deck, and then uh, it's good. We got a Drapion V finally. We can attach this uh, Dark en Energy on onto it. 
but I think I'm just gonna attach a fire energy actually on on Snorlax and then I can attach another energy onto it and we can start attacking with Snorlax while I set up Drapion V so it's gonna distract them at least uh, so it's not gonna force the, it's gonna force them to uh, attack our Snorlax I know this is kind of a weird uh, ta uh, strategy, but <laughs> I'm gonna go with it, okay? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with it. Okay, they're gonna attach a big charm on their Crobat. Okay. Probably thinking that it's easy target, so. Actually, that's actually um, uh, my mindset also. That's why I have a big charm on this deck too so that I can increase HP of Colossal so our opponent will have a tougher time knocking it out okay so they're gonna play another Alchemy V on their bench they're gonna Pokecom Mew probably gonna get a Porygon oh okay Oranguru Primate Wisdom. Okay, so with our hand, we can either set up another Drapion V or uh, start setting up a Toxic Croak. Ooh, they weren't able to knock out our Snorlax, so that's good. Um, I think I'll just play another Drapion V so that we have a extra backup here. And I'm going to get a... Uh, unfortunately, there's no... <laughs> our other Carlazzle is uh, prized. So I'm just going to go with it. I was hoping we could use the Rare Candy so we can have uh, two, two Colossal. But it is what it is. Okay. Um, I think I might just have to Gormandize here. But I'll just throw away the uh, red candy because we can't use it anyways. Uh, might as well just get another energy. Uh, discard that one and get ourselves a Snorlax. And at least we can use Tar Generator. Put it on Snorlax and we can Body Slam. Maybe we can paralyze this, um, this Alchemy V Max. Okay, we don't. <laughs> At least we soften it up. We have a dark energy in our hand, so uh, even if they knock out this Snorlax, we can uh, promote Drapion V, attach that dark energy, and then we can energize it so that we can uh, paralyze this uh, Alchemy V Max. Alright, they're gonna Professor's Research. So the thing with Alchemy V Max, they need to um, energize as much uh, of their Pokemon as they can uh, in all the field. And I think they require um, it requires that they discard a lot of um, purple energy. So uh, that's what makes I don't know. For me, Alchemy V Max is 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 decent. It can do tons of damage, but the setup is just too complicated, I think. Too complicated. It is cheaper in the trades now, though. Before, it was like 100 or 10, 10 packs or 20 packs or something. People go crazy. Okay, so they're just gonna G-Max attack for the KO. But they only get one prize card for that. So now our Drapion V is just going to go into the active and start attacking. Hazardous Claws is going to paralyze our opponent. So we'll just attach the Dark Energy. Uh, we can use Skyla to get a Quick Ball. Maybe we can even set up a Crow Gunk. Yeah, so let's just get that, put that on the bench. And we're going to Tar Generator two energies onto our Drapion V. And we're just gonna hazardous claws. 
for 130. So it doesn't knock it out, but still, uh, we're one step closer to the knockout. So, yeah, Drapion V, uh, if our if our opponents have a lot of switches and whatnot, like um, what I mentioned, but if um, if they don't, it it takes a while to KO V Maxes because they're they're pretty tanky. So, yeah, Dra Drapion V, it, it's a decent card, but you know, <laughs> not gonna go all out to. Um, Make this into to a tier one, tier one, because I don't think it's 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 possible. But that's that's my opinion. So, all right. So our opponent has another um, Alchemy V Max setup on their bench. So what they could do is just switch out and not lose any price cards. That's what they could do. Uh, but we'll just uh, we'll just do the same. We'll just do the same to their other Alchemy V Max. So they're just gonna pass. And now we can evolve into Toxic Croak. We can even start energizing our uh, second Drapion V. We're just gonna keep Tar Generator we're using Tar Generator on our active Drapion V, and this should knock this uh, V Max out. We get three price cards for that. All right, cool. Uh, we are getting damage off of that, but that's okay. It's not gonna knock us out. We got a big charm. Another fighting energy, and our colossal. So now, now, now we're talking. So even if they manage to knock out both of our Drapion, if we just manage to find another one. We can easily energize it after attaching just one dark energy on Drapion V. Because uh, we have two Colossals to energize, so that's four energies. All, all we need is one dark and three colorless. So um, it is uh, working really hard to energize our Drapion V. Okay, they have a Blacephalon. They could use that, but I don't think it's it's not gonna knock out any of our Pokemon. All right, so they're just gonna pass. Uh, let's just evolve into Colossal, so that guarantees our um, our constant energy on our Drapion Vs. Yeah, and we have four, two Fire and two Fighting, so we can energize this Drape uh, Drapion V, and we can just attack with Hazardous Claws. We're just gonna keep keep this up until we win. And Toxic Croak's poison is gonna add 30 to that. And every time they pass, it's gonna add 30 more. So uh, by our next turn, we should be able to knock out this um, Alchemy V Max. Yeah. So that's basically the point of this deck. It's pretty straightforward. Takes a while though, that's the only thing, because it uh, Drapion V doesn't really hit for much. Alright, so our opponent gives up, and that wins us the game. Drapion V is a pretty straightforward deck. It has potential, however, because there are so many special energies that negate the effect of its attack, and there are also tool cards, switches, and support that doubles as a switch, there's just way too many ways for our opponent to get out from paralysis. Because of this, I would not recommend this as a lone attacker in the deck. This could go well with other builds for sure, so you can have the paralysis option, especially when facing off against certain matchups. But overall, I would say that this particular build is just okay. And that's pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.